Hello, it's Wednesday and that means books on Wednesday. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit differently now. Um, I have read a book by Harlan Coben. Now, if you would like to know what book I read and what I thought about it, look at my website, emilycat176.com. And this is how I'm going to do it now. Um, yeah, it's, I'm trying to promote my website. I've actually, if you're interested, I've actually done an extra post today on my website about an Indigenous artist that I met on Monday. So, um, yeah, that's where the review is. Um, I know I keep saying it, books, books, books and books. I tend to think they breed in the dark, to be honest. This is why I don't like owning books, because to me, books are precious. You know, I don't like book burning or anything like that. But I also think if you have a lot of books say you move you've got to pack them all up you've got to find somewhere to keep them having said that though if I ever have any spare time I do go into bookshops and it's I can spend quite a bit of time browsing and of course I find all these books that I think oh that's good that's good I'll buy that one I'll buy that one so I'm thinking do I keep getting library books? And I think libraries are just so wonderful. They might not have the latest book, or if they do, there'll be a big waiting list. But they have so much more, you know, so. But what I'm thinking I might do is I might buy one book a month. Mm. Yes, maybe one book a month. And, of course, once I've read it, then I pass it on. Um, before COVID, because it's like it's two worlds, isn't it? It's before COVID, after COVID. But before COVID, I, I would quite often, if I had a book, once I'd finished with it, I would leave it on buses. I would leave it at bus stops. I would leave it wherever with a note, you know, please read and pass on. And I still do this in a way because if I said if I buy a book, I read it, and then I will give it away and I say, and once you've finished, pass it on to someone else. Because I really, really, really like the thought of this one book going all around the community. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, no, this Harlan Coben. I had never read any of his work and I saw this in the library and I thought because what I what I found was I think he's made some deal with Netflix and I think quite a lot of his books have been filmed for Netflix because yes I do have Netflix I actually I actually saw Maestro on Netflix I really wanted to see that in a cinema but here in Australia it had such a limited release I never saw it in a cinema and that was one film I think that really need to be in cinema but that's not books is it anyway but yes so I think his his books have been filmed for Netflix and I had never read any I sort of knew the name but now I have and yeah as I said if you want to know which one and what I thought go to the website but I, I, I got, it got me thinking. I, there are so many authors I've never read. Even in the crime fiction, which I like, I really like, as I've said to you, I really like crime novels. But I do have to broaden my horizons. And there was um, a very kind viewer who left a post, left a comment on a post last week about Alexander McCall Smith 
about the 44 Street series. Now I've been trying to find that. Uh, I haven't seen it in any bookshops. And I do quite go into quite a lot of bookshops. Because I think it's quite a pleasant way to pass some time. To just wander around, read the back of books. You know, so... So yes, that's that's Books on Wednesday. There is a Books on Wednesday, but it is on my website. And please, if you see this, comment on other authors. As I said, I really do think I have to broaden my horizons. And if any of you know any other authors that might be good and you can recommend, let me know because I will definitely look into them. As I said, I'm still trying to find these 44th Street series because uh, with Alistair McCall Smith yes I didn't like the Lady Detective series at all but um, the book I, I reviewed last week I did like so so yes as I said please let me know because I can get quite a lot of stuff at the library and I'm even thinking of maybe going to the library more often and, bor and borrowing books because they do have a lot and it doesn't matter what year they're published you know a good book is a good book it doesn't matter what year it came out and I don't think you have to read the latest stuff necessarily um, so yeah that's books on Wednesday so have fun happy reading and I'll speak to you soon bye